Hello, JCF Nation. Darius Wilson here of JCF Health and Fitness, and I'm here to give you six ways to modify your exercises. Um, so no matter what level you are, we're going to uh, whether it's uh, you at a lower fitness level and you need to uh, a regression, or you at a higher fitness level and you need to progress the move. We're going to get we're going to uh, give you some great information here that you can use to make sure you continue to get great results and that you're not plateauing. Um, so. These are the steps that we use here as coaches. Our coaches here at JCF to make sure, again, that we're meeting our higher fitness levels. We call our level threes, our JCF strong group at where they are. But we're also meeting our, our level twos, which we call our varsity group where they are, and that we're also meeting our level ones, our aspiring group where they are. Um, so the first thing we want to do is make sure we want to ask what is the objective. That's the first thing. Is it uh, strength training or is it metabolic training, which we call our cardio days here at JCF. The second thing is that what muscles are being worked. Okay. Then the third thing is that it, uh, how we mod I mean, is the modification is it a, is it a regression or is it a progression? And then the fourth thing is that what we have here, how are we actually going to regress it or progress it to meet our campus where they are, and in your case, meet you where you are to make sure that you continue to get some great results, okay? So what we're going to do, again, we're going to use the probably the most universal uh, exercise there is, which is the push-up, and we're going to go through our six ways of modifying to make sure we can meet you where you are and, get, and continue to give you some great results, okay? So the first one is the handprint. What are we doing with our hands to, to modify the exercise, okay? Number two thing is the footprint. What are we doing with our feet to modify the exercise? And then uh, rotation, these are optional ways where we can make it more advanced. Uh, locomotion, adding some sort of other movement, forward, backwards, lateral, to make it the move more advanced. Um, and then plyometric, um, and then we have adding some external equipment or apparatus to make the move more advanced, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go down each one of these to make, uh, to regress and, and progress uh, a push up. So the first thing is with the handprint. Um, so how we can, how we can progress how we can progress a push-up with the handprint. One way we can do it is doing a, a, a one-hand push-up, okay? But we can also do some things, push-up, shooting the hand forward, which is going to put a little more stress, good stress on the core, because now we're going from a four-point to a three-point move, which is going to make me a little more unstable. So that's ways I can, I can modify, um, so, uh, modify but progress um, the, the push-up. One way I can regress it using my hand is elevating my hand. So if I, if I go here, have my hands here on the push-up, on a, on a chair, or even the back of the chair if I need to go higher, performing a push-up here, okay? So because my hands are a, a higher level than my feet, it's gonna make it a little easier for me, okay? Then the second thing we have is the footprint. What can I do with my footprint to make it more advanced, okay? So what I can do is make it, take one foot off the ground, okay? which is going to, again, make my body a lot less stable, so I'm going to have to work a little harder to stabilize myself first and then get into the push-up, okay? I also can do what's called a decline push-up, which is my feet are going to be higher than my hands, quite the opposite of an elevated, okay? And performing a push-up that way, again, is going to make it more advanced, all right? Okay, and then we have a rotation. So what's, what's, what's known as, as a, a T push-up, where well, I can perform a push-up, rotate, eyes follow my fingers, okay? That's gonna make it more advanced, right there, all right? Then we can add locomotion. And so we can add locomotion. I want you to think of the way humans are, are meant to move, which is 360, okay? And so I can go forward, back, so I can perform a push-up, maybe add a couple bear crawls, perform a push-up, go backwards, perform a push-up, or I can go lateral, perform a push-up, okay? So that's one of the ways we can add locomotion to modify, mainly those, those these last three um, modifications are gonna make the exercise more advanced, okay? And so plyometric, we can do a, a plyometric push-up, which is the old school hand clap, clap push-up, okay? That's one of the ways we can make it more advanced using plyometric, all right? Okay. And then our sixth way to modify, mainly again, like I mentioned before, is gonna be to progress the move, is using some sort of external equipment 
our apparatus. So when we think about external equipment, uh, adding uh, additional load, we can maybe use dumbbells, where you can do a push-up in a row, um, adding the dumbbells, doing the, the row at the top of the at the top of the exercise. But also we can add a, a weight vest. That's another way to add some external load where now you're doing it with a little resistance. So anywhere between 20 pounds up to 60, 80 pounds of extra weight that you're going to be doing to push up. That will definitely not only tax your muscles uh, and create a good stimulus there, but also tax your heart rate as well. All right. Then we have a suspension trainer, um, which is where this TRX Jungle Gym um, is a great way to progress the push up um, because we're going from stability being on the ground. The ground is. Uh, it's, it's stable to go in where we have kind of got to stabilize ourselves using our core and stabilize ourselves being on the suspension trainer. That's going to be an additional way to really take it to another level. Um, and so just to kind of recap again, we have a plan with the handprint um, to, to, to progress, to modify the push-up. We can play with our footprint to modify the push-up. We can play with some rotation to modify the push-up, uh, locomotion, plyometric, and then adding some sort of external load. Okay, so hopefully this was, uh, you got some great information uh, today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at info at jcfbootcamp.com or you can uh, leave a comment below. Again, here's to a better body, better life. Have a great day.